sneak in a beer while the lasagna is cooking. Exactly. And we just ate bacon wrapped cheese pasta. As you can see, we're, we're eating healthy and we're going to have our vitamin B now, which is beer. I don't make anything low calorie. No, Johnny does not make low calorie food. But if it's got bacon on it, it's okay. It's, it's good for you. It's vitamin B. Yes. Today we have a beer that starts with a B. We're also eating De Sili, which is Scotch De Sili from Johnny Cellar. This is a 2012 well, actually, vintage. It's from Belgium, but oh well, yeah, originally it's from Sili, Belgium. <laughs> this is a 2012 vintage, right? Of yes. This, and we've done the 2011 vintage in a small bottle, so we figured we'd want to review a 2012. And you had it recently, right? Fresh, didn't you? I had 2013. 2013. 2014. 2014. No, no. I don't know, a fresh, a fresh yeah. one, fresh enough. So, I'm going to get this cork off, and Johnny's going to tell you about it. <laughs> no, we do, this is a tw twisty. And, oh. Sorry. Well, let's see. Uh, it's a wee heavy, <clears throat> so it means it's heavy. And um, it's 8% ABV. Well, the brewery was founded in 1850 by a bunch of uh, uh, German settlers uh, that kind of wandered into Belgium. No. It was founded in 1850. Uh, <laughs> it's Belgian's take on a Scotch ale. Now, the fresh one I had was uh, very much a Belgian candy sugar bomb. bomb. This is saying it's apple and sweet and peat flavored, so. I can smell it from here. Now, an interesting story about this beer that I learned on the web is this beer got created during World War II when there were Scottish soldiers in Belgium and they took over the brewery kind of thing. And they said, hey, we want a wee heavy, and the brewers built, brewed a beer to their taste. Yeah. So that, that's actually pretty cool that it came about that way. Kind of like intercultural exchange. Yeah, there you go. The Belgians and the Scots getting together for a beer. For that, some that. beer drinking people. I, I don't see that not happening. <laughs> okay. Um, it's a ruddy, sort of river water brown, kind of color like dark sweet tea. Almost looks like some vomit that I recently <laughs> We got about a quarter finger ahead when you swirl it in this stainless wine glass. You get plenty of sticky glass lacing. Look at that, guys. Nice, lots and lots of alcohol legs. Really nice looking beer. It looks like a Belgian strong dark ale. So let's get a nose on it. And Johnny's already dumped his nose in it. Let's see. I got an apple right off the top, big time. Yeah, like like a tart, sweet apples or like mm -hmm. Granny Smith. Wow. Well, I didn't say Granny Smith. I, for me, it's a red apple. Is it? I get like a tartness in it, but. Plenty of candy sugar, sugar. Yep. lots of yeast esters from the Belgian yeast. Maybe some raisins and dark fruit. Wow. It's a really nice smelling beer. Mm -hmm. I'm going to taste, and he already has. Cheers. Wow. Man, that's smooth. Apple, sugar, just like the smell. Big caramel, too. Wow. It's like a, it's like a caramel co covered apple, isn't yeah. it? Wow, it's interesting. The first sip, I thought it was water. The second sip, it seemed a little thicker. It's the coating on my mouth thing. Maybe. Wow, the carbonation spot on it's that Belgian carbonation that kind of cleans your palate. Yes. It's got a semi-dry finish, even though it's really coating. And this goes down way too easy for an eight percenter. This. <laughs> you see Johnny Lecky because he's moving over towards his side of the table. <laughs> I think I've become a. Stout and a wee heavy dude. We heavy fan? Yeah. I saw the other day there's a there's a pork barrel aged version of this. We'll have to give that one a go also. Yeah, for anybody out there that wants to send it to me, please do so. <laughs> this is a really tasty beer. There's some good layers of flavor. I'm getting in kind of order like that green sort of kind of Granny Smith, sweet, sweet Granny Smith apple, that caramel, then some dark fruits, and then I get some spice, a little bit of spiciness from the Belgian yeast, but there's a, a nice... It's like cloves and nutmeg yeah. and cinnamon, and uh, but it, it's all mixed in with the candied sugar and the apple. I, I still don't get the green apple. I still get an apple flavor, but not that green Granny Smith, but still... Apple beer. nonetheless. Yes. Really nice tasting beer. You know, I think I actually like this maybe a little better than the cellar version, the, the, the two year old that we had. This is definitely cold. Well, it's cold, but better than the fresh. It was better than fresh. Def is that Albino Rhino calling you again? I don't know. Everyone's calling. <laughs> no one ever calls my phone. Now they're all calling me tonight. So, but 
I would definitely, this is a beer definitely worth selling, selling for a year. Mm -hmm. Let those flavors develop in the bottle. So we've had it awesome fresh, beer. we've had it one year and, and two years old. I'm thinking two years old, a one year old is probably the best. Yeah. So last time we rated this one was a 2011 that was two years old. We gave it both an A minus. Rate Beer and Beer Advocate give this a, Rate Beer gives it a 90 fresh and an 84 fresh. And I could kind of see both of those yeah, grades. I, I agree. I, I mean, I would probably rate the 2013 a little higher than the 84. I may go more than 88, but mm -hmm. I would definitely give this an A minus again. Yeah, a little maybe a little higher A minus. Maybe we did like 90 or 91 before. It's like a 93, but yeah. really nice beer to drink with a year on it. It's like Johnny's saying, I haven't had it fresh, but he has. But Really tasty, and the alcohol is totally hidden in this beer too. Exactly. I think there's that peat flavor. That's the only thing. No, I it's not. I don't get the the peatiness here, and I don't even smell it in the bottle. But so, anyways, guys, we're both giving it an A minus. We're gonna finish off the rest of this 750 without any issue, or Johnny will, might. Won't have any issues in <laughs> finishing this off. Johnny's gonna take care of that. See, when you have a stud trigger, you always have to have fast hands because that's what will happen to your beer. And. While you're watching your beer, as long as you think globally and drink locally and support the craft beer well, movement, send more beer to and us. send more beer to us, you're going to be just fine. So thanks for least we will. That's right. Thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and hit the like button, and send Johnny more beer because he's better when he's stunt drinking, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. That's right. So until then, that's a big ass. Peace out.